What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is episode number 12 and before we start I want to say that I'm still a bit sick. Same sickness that was in episode number 11 except now I'm on the uh, the other side of the uh, of the the hump I guess you could say. I'm, I'm getting over it instead of getting it so um, but I still have uh, quite a bit of coughing and my voice might sound weird and also I can't hear as well as I normally can but uh, but we're gonna make an episode anyway because I really wanted to get back into Space Engineers and so we are we have a couple of things that I want to do this episode first of all I want to fix this but we're probably gonna wait uh, on that for uh, so we do the first thing first and the second thing I want to do is I want to run over here and I want to uh, I, I want to get some ice in here so that these things can actually display something um, other than just a graph of nothing so we can have some oxygen and some hydrogen inside this base instead of having to go all the way to big red over there to grab it so we know where the ice is I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hop in the harvinator and hope that it has battery which it does it looks like yep it has quite a bit of battery actually we're gonna hop into the harvinator and we're just gonna go and grab some ice. So let's uh, let's turn on our batteries first, disconnect, and we're good to go. All right, Harvinator, do you have anything in you actually, first of all? Why are you at 100% capacity? That's a really good question. Uh, we can't really see the battery life of this, can we? Oh shoot, only one battery is fully charged. That's interesting. I think we'll be fine anyway, but that's just an interesting thing to keep in mind. All right, uh, let's real quick go into K menu. We're going to turn on our ice thing so we can see where the ice is. I think it, it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Unless I'm completely wrong, which I could be. Where are you, ice? There it is. It's over in this direction. All right, we're going to fly our Harvinator over there. We have 14 minutes of flight, which I wish we had longer, but I guess it's going to be okay. Well, we, I hope it's going to be okay, at least. I think what I need to do is reconfigure the batteries to uh, to all go on recharge mode instead of just one, because I think that's what's happening right now. Uh, and I think that's only why only one of our batteries is fully powered. Now, ice is pretty... Well, it's not that far, I guess, but it's, you know, it's a bit of a, a bit of a run. Keep in mind, if ice were on the other side of the moon, like way farther away, we could always go up to an asteroid and grab it, because it, it is an asteroid. So that wouldn't be much of a problem uh, at all. <coughs> oh, there's the first cough of the day. The first cough to show that I am sick. Don't worry, people get sick, but usually they get over it. Sometimes they don't. Morbid thought of the day, but uh, yeah. All right, ice moon. Uh, moon, uh, ice, just ice. Oh my god, ice moon. It's not an ice moon, it's just... Unless... I don't know, what's inside the moon? Do we know, as human beings? Do we know what's inside the moon? Or could it be just like a big thing of ice with rock, a rock outside and we wouldn't even know? I mean, I imagine like scientists that know math more than me would be able to calculate densities and something to figure out uh, it, like if the center of the moon is like liquid or if it's water that sort of thing so I don't know I imagine there's probably a technique for doing this sort of thing so we're just gonna grab a little bit slash a lot of ice let's make sure by the way that we're uh, that we're not bumping our our ship anywhere I think what we want to do is want to do kind of a side to side mine are we already starting to sink a little bit Ice is pretty heavy, so I guess that makes sense, but, and we only have one battery really working, so maybe we should, we should take it, or play it safe a little bit. How much are we using, how much ice do we have in us right now? Uh, we have 160k. Honestly, I think that's going to be good for now. I mean, we're not trying to launch a ship or anything. I think that's going to be good. Let's, uh, let's fly back. Especially since we only really have one battery uh, that's powering the ship I think yeah I think that's gonna be perfect the ship is gonna have trouble stopping so I'm gonna keep it at a relatively low speed probably uh 150 no nah, probably maybe even 80 is gonna be our max speed here it's having trouble getting up there and look it's definitely having trouble getting back as well oh we want to be careful because we could very easily accidentally drive ourselves into a mountain which we don't want to do oh silicon there was silicon right under us cool even when we're not looking for materials we'll find them but when we're looking for them it may be a little bit more tough uh oh 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 okay we're good <laughs> it looked like it was going down too much all right now let's perform the turn 
The only thing I wish is that a controller... I know a controller can be used in this game, but it's like super sketchy. If I hook up my controller right now... Actually, I think my controller's hooked up. Hang on. No, it's not working. Uh, yeah, it's super sketchy in this game uh, for the controller. Because I remember hooking it up and it was... Um, it was doing, why am I going down every time? Uh, I remember hooking it up and it was like moving the, the camera all over the place. Because it didn't know what to do really. Alright. And we are in. Awesome. No fuel. Okay. Let's uh, let's fix this battery issue real quick. So let's press K. Uh, we're going to make sure that our, our uh, Harvinator batteries is set to all the batteries instead of just one of the batteries. No fuel. As I had suspected. Nope. It's actually set to all of the batteries. Although we have two battery number fives, which is a bit odd, I guess. No fuel. But yeah, it's set, it's set to all the batteries, so save that. Then we're going to go to G. Make sure this is this is set to Harvinator batteries. We'll actually just remove it altogether. Then we'll go over here to Harvinator batteries. No bring it back. Fuel. We're going to set it to uh, recharge on off. And we're going to make sure it's set to on right now. Let's go back to K. And we're going to no check fuel. on our battery. Stop saying no fuel. I know. <laughs> She's annoying. Toggle box on recharge. Okay, so why are you not no set to fuel. recharge then? You are. I don't understand. That's that's so weird. It only set one no of them to recharge. Fuel. Woman, if I if I hear you say no fuel one more time, I'm going to find the AI component in this no ship and blow you up. All right, let's rename this to something other than Harvinator batteries. How about let's no rename it to? Fuel. We'll remove Harvinator batteries. We'll delete that block group. We'll go over here and make new one. So battery two, we'll call this battery one. Battery three, we'll call this battery two. No. Battery five, we'll call this battery three. And f other five, we'll call you four. Okay, so one, no two, fuel. three, four. Call you guys Harvinator. Or I guess we'll, we'll call it the same thing. Harvinator. No fuel. Batteries. Safe. Okay, now you guys are called Harvinator batteries. Let's fuel. go into G. Remove this one. Groups. Harvinator batteries. No fuel. Recharge on off. Okay. Boom. Ship fuel low. Okay. Now let's check this one more time. Battery one. Recharge. No battery fuel. two. Recharge. Battery three. Why? Why is battery three not set to recharge? No fuel. What? The? And that was the one that was working last time. Oh, maybe it's because they were they're like set independently. Okay. So now if I press it, let me check that they're all off. Harvinator batteries. No fuel. Off. 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 Okay, that's good. Next one. No fuel. Harvinator batteries. On, 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 on. Okay, so that that's what the problem was before, is that we had them kind of like three were on and, and one was off. So when I press number nine, instead no of turning fuel. them all off or all on, all it does is toggle. So all the ones that were off turned on and all the ones that were on turned off, uh, I'm guessing. So that's that's kind of annoying. But, uh, but yeah, okay. Yeah, I would like a feature in the game where it would like actually just turn them all off or all on. So we don't have that issue, but I guess that's fine. Okay, we should have ice now. Let's go and check. I don't know if the ice is actually connected. Oh, yeah, I, apparently it is because we are getting oxygen and we are getting hydrogen as well. So that's definitely a good thing. <coughs> Alright, our battery power is going a little bit lower uh, while our power usage is fluctuating quite a bit. Solar output's up right now, but we have zero reactor output, which means... We are out of uranium. Do we have any uranium? I don't think we would. No, we don't. Of course not. Uh, the reason we don't is because uh, we actually have this hooked up to that. So all the, all the uranium that we would have is being taken by that, which is fine. That's how we want it. But why are the nanites not doing their thing? And why are you not pounding the ground or anything? Nero. All right, are you are you completed? Yes, you are completed. Okay. Uh, so the nanites should be able to see the uh, the uranium that's down there. Let me go and grab a little bit by hand while we're here. Hey, an extra uranium piece. Nice. Always a pleasure. I'm, I have a bunch of my inventory, which is fine because I do want to go build that thing. Uh, so we're not going to grab that much, but it, we'll, we'll grab at least a little bit since we're already down here. 
And then we'll go and check on the nanites to see why this thing's not... Honestly, I think we need to, like, complete this. I think the nanites can't even reach this area, which is quite possible because, I mean, that, that makes sense considering they're not doing anything with those blocks down there. So let's go ahead and make a nanite uh, thing, a nanite uh, extender, because the nanites can obviously reach this. They just can't reach that. So let's get the, uh, what, what was it, number, do we have a number nine? I don't remember where we had, number three maybe? Uh, nanite, and it's going to be the nanite area beacon. We're going to stick that right there. The nanites should be able to create it by themselves. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move the area so that it's kind of like right in there. So the nanites can go down there and do their stuff. Uh, but they should fix that automatically. Let's make sure that they're turned on. Yes, they are turned on. So, okay, that's good. Uh, let's also stick some uranium inside the refinery. And it should be split amongst all the refineries. Yeah, so that that's Izzy's script right there at work. Uh, it's, it's splitting all the uranium so that it refines faster, which is definitely a, a good thing. Let's go finish working on this thing. What do we need to do? We need to, it uh, looks like we need to build a lot of stuff for this. We have a pretty good idea going down already. We have the, the what did we call this before? This was the tray, or uh, we probably didn't call it a tray, but it, that's essentially what it is. Um, we got the battery. Okay, we just need to go and grab all the parts for this stuff. Uh, all right, let's go and do that then. Um, probably gonna cut so that we can do this uh, easily, but, uh, but I'll be right back. All right, here's our rover at this point. I think it looks pretty good. It's um, it's still connected to the ground, so uh, yeah, but everything is made. Uh, we've got this nice tray right here, and the tray is going to be where the thing is going to kind of sit. Um, or, or if it falls, rather, it'll just fall onto the tray, which is, is the idea. And then we've got this, this uh, main projector, which is going to project the thing. So I want to try this out. Um, how do we want to set this up? We need to set up some buttons so this works. Actually, first what we need to do is we need to connect this whole thing. So let's go ahead and actually, oh, did you make this real quick? Oh, hang on. Let me, let me hop over here real quick and, and uh, check this out. Okay. So it looks like the nanites did make this. Let's, uh, let's go and change this real quick. We're going to highlight the area a lot. No, we don't care about that stuff. The height, right? We want to bring it a little bit lower. Oh, wait, hang on. Where's that? What is it doing? Oh, it's making it bigger and stuff. Uh, okay, so the height, yeah, make it as high as it can be, uh, right, so we want the offset for the, uh, we want to get so we can see this, actually, uh, we want the offset for the, uh, what's it called, the, which one is, is what I'm looking for, put this back at zero, I'm looking for the one that'll make it move towards me, okay, that's the one, we want it to be offset about 50%, so like this, does that look good? Yeah, so we have it over there, and we have it over there, so we're just increasing the area. Actually, I kind of want to offset it that way. Well, no, because that's where the nanite thing is. Anything over there can already be reached. Yeah, so offsetting it here is going to be fine. Uh, next, we want to offset the um, the Y, or the something, whatever it's called. We want to make it go down, pretty much. The Z, I think, is what that is. Nope, it's not the Z. Uh, the, the X, no, the, the Y. Yeah, there we go. Make it go down probably halfway. So we have half of it still up and half of it down. Uh, maybe we want to make it go down a little more because we don't need to build up that high. That's really high. Uh, so let's let's make it go down quite a bit more. Uh, so Y go down to about there. So we should have a little bit up like this. That's pretty much how high we're building anyway in case we move our base over this way. And then we should have all the way down there as well. So now the nanites should be able to, I think, move down there and build this stuff. So they should be building this. Yes, the nanites have been building this. Awesome. Have they built all the way? Yeah, okay. So they should also now be able to go and mine that stuff, which we'll have to go back to the nanite factory to see. Oh, nanite factory. I want to see if you are ready for me. It's a pretty, pretty bad rhymes, but they work. Okay, right. So this, we're looking for... The ore hammer locator. So this one has golden iron, and this one has just iron. Why have you not detected uranium? Are you not close enough? I guess it might not be close enough to actually find the uranium that's, like, right there. Let's see. How far... Because you're detecting iron, and iron is pretty far down. Here, let's... Real quick, let's hop back up to here. So we're, we're standing on it right now, more or less. The iron is 40 meters away is the closest iron, or 39 even, is the closest iron. 
and I don't even see gold. Somehow you see gold. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand that one. But then if we go here for the uranium, we're standing on this one. Oh, it's fifty away. But I see the gold now as well. So I see, I see that. I don't know. Do you guys know about these things? What can I do to make it? Do I have to make it closer? Like, are we too far from the uranium for it to to detect it? I guess I could here. I could like. <laughs> I could just go all the way down to the uranium. Uh, although it's going to get a bit ridiculous and painful. Uh, yeah, we're, we might do that, but we'll do it off camera probably because it takes a long time to dig a, uh, a nice hole. It's not easy for me to do. Uh, like this one right here took a while and this one right here as well took a long time to actually dig so that it was straight down. But, uh, but yeah, we'll do that off camera or something and hope that that works. <coughs> oh my god, coughs. Uh, what were we gonna do? What were, we were gonna do something. Oh, I forgot. Oh, we're gonna connect this, weren't we? Okay, so let's uh, let's grab our pieces. We'll start with this one right here. We need some uh, interior plates, I think, for this to work. Interior plates. We'll grab 200 of them, even though we don't need that many. Uh, remember, we're banking on the, uh, the nanites actually doing most of the work. Right, so we need to connect that to this. What's the best way? Well, part of me wants to just run it through here. Like this. Here. I'll show. I'll show instead of tell. <laughs> well, I'll show and tell. So we're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to make a conveyor right there. We're going to do the same thing on the other side right here. Uh, and then we're just going to kind of go right through. Which makes sense because we might actually have to use stuff in, in the uh, that place as well. And once we're here, we'll probably just run it that way, honestly. Yeah, that'll work. Just run it through like a little trench. Inventory's full. Oh no. Well, 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 guess what? We're at the. Uh... Oh shoot! This is the wrong place. We're, we're at the. Um... Oh my God! What, what what are the words I'm looking for? We're at the cargo area anyway. It's over there. Well, we were at it. We were at the ceiling, but unfortunately, we can't get in. Uh, cargo area here. Take this. I'm going to throw it all in there, um, and it'll be fine. All right. So here we are. We're going to want to run. Well, first we're going to want to grab this stuff so we can actually put stuff here. Then we're going to want this to turn into a uh, conveyor piece. Finally, we're going to want to run this through the trench. Get a turning piece and turn you down. There we go. In fact, this one right here is going to be another big conveyor piece. Just so that it seals up the wall. That's the thing. These these uh, conveyor pieces are airtight, but the um, the smaller ones are not. So if you want to seal up a wall, you've got um, you've got to use those bigger conveyor pieces. And honestly, this, this should be done anyway so that we have a, an easy connection. From the outside that we can use whenever we want. Uh, so for this, let's um, first run it down. I think it's probably the best plan here. Just so it's not like flying all over the place. And I think we're going to run it down and, and around the back. Oh, shoot. Speaking of flying all over the place. There we go. Let's break that piece right there. Thank you, Nanites. You guys are awesome. And finally... This piece right here, turn that into there. Awesome. Looking good. So that, that should connect this to our base, which is going to allow us to actually get materials to our uh, welders. <coughs> Coughing. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we need to we need to set up some sort of system to move these in and out. So I think probably one for the left and one for the right is going to, uh, is going to work quite nicely. So uh, we're going to get a button panel for each of these sides. So we're going to go to our number uh, three, which we've been using. We're going to go to button panel. Search for butt. <laughs> We're going to put a button panel right... Oh, do I want to put it here? I think I want to put it here, honestly. That's not a bad spot. Stick one here, and then stick one on the other side as well. There we go. Oh, people are going to confuse it for that. Well, people, I mean, me. There's a mining carrier. What does it say? A mining carriage? 
Car a carriage? What's a carriage? Like a like a thing from Snow White? Is a carriage? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to set these buttons to increase and decrease the uh, the the uh, distance here. So first button right here is going to well first we need to hop in here and actually um, grab all of our welder arms. So or our uh, not welder arms whatever they're called the uh, pistons. So piston. Oh, how did we set these up? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to we're gonna have to go through all of them and like ah. Uh, Okay, how do we know which ones are which? We have three and four are definitely together. So three and four are going to be part of block group. Uh, welder pit one. Okay, save that. Welder pit one. Uh, and then uh, I think the other ones across from each other were also together. So these two, let's, let's uh, increase the distance real quick. Yep, so that's those. Those are definitely together. That's three and four. Holy crap, you guys can go far. What the heck? You guys can go super far. I thought you could only go out to this distance. Or this distance right here. Wow, okay, we could have made this welder pit so much bigger. Oh my god, I didn't even think of it. I kind of, I kind of want to expand this now. Alright, give me a second. I'm expanding it. Oh no. Uh, so we're having a power death spiral. Um, right, so we ran out of uranium because the nanites kept eating it all. And so now uh, everything's turning on and off. As you can probably hear. Uh, and also, as you can probably see. So that's not good. Um, right, so solutions. Well, where's the sun? When the sun comes up, we'll have all these powered, which will then give us more power. Uh, or I can like shine. Oh, I can shine my flashlight. Oh, that's actually working. That's amazing. I didn't know that that could actually work, but that's actually kind of funny. That my flashlight would. Unless that's a coincidence, because those guys turned on right when I turned my flashlight. Yeah, it's kind of working. That's kind of funny. Could I, if I fly up here, could I be the sun? I turned on a bunch of them. Look at that. Does that actually give power? That would be so amazing if that did. And kind of inaccurate, but yeah. Some of them turned on. Oh my god. Am I getting power from this? Let me go and check. Where's our solar graph? Oh my god, it's actually giving some power, I think. Because those guys are, are taking power. So, I don't know. But, uh, oh no, you fell. Sad. We're gonna have to wait for the sun, because there's not really much we can do until that happens. Oh, just kidding. Apparently the large reactor is just not working for some reason. It's not grabbing the uranium. But, uh, we can manually grab it. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's go and turn back on all the refineries. Which we had turned off. Just to conserve power. Why are you not grabbing things automatically? You are connected, right? Let me... Oh my god, the ceiling. The ceiling's fun, but I hate it at the same time. So you should be connected to a conveyor. And that conveyor should be connected to this, yeah. And then it's connected to you, which is supposedly... Oh, it, it's definitely power, because I just dragged things to it. So that should be fine. I just don't know why... Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't automatically grabbing it. And le I mean, it should have, unless don't use inventory, or don't use conveyors, rather, is checked. Which it could be, I guess. Use conveyor system, please. I think probably, uh, what's his name? Is Yeah, Izzy is, is doing that thing. Which, I don't know why, I'm gonna have to go mess with that script again. But, uh, yeah, Izzy is messing with that. Let's turn on our nanites, even though we have, we only have seven power. Let's turn it on. And hope that uh, hope that they can do things. Uh, let's also make sure Izzy is running properly, because the power could have messed with it, I suppose. Izzy, yeah, you're running in station mode. Awesome. So it looks like you should be running well. Okay. 
Okay, all good. So what we did to this, by the way, is we moved everything back. And the, the good thing about... It's a litter of materials, by the way. The good thing about this is that now we can very easily figure out which ones of these are, uh, are which. So if we go back into our button thing right here, we should be able to find all of our pistons. All the ones that exist are going to be piston, uh, piston 1, piston 2, uh, piston 3. And piston four. Now piston one, we're gonna call this. Uh, let's let's call this left. Well, yeah, let's call it like we're looking at it. So it's gonna be left. Piston one L. So I'll piston one L and piston one R. So piston one L, piston two L, just so that we know what was what. Piston three L and piston four L. And we're gonna call these uh, piston or no, not that. Uh, welder, welders left. Even though they're not the actual welders themselves, they're the pistons. Welder, pistons. And save that. So next, once we add the other ones, we're going to call those welder pistons right. Uh, just so that we know what is what. Let's add on the, uh, the stuff that we need. Uh, so we're going to need, uh, pistons. And we're also going to need... Um, welders. There we go. So let's start with the pistons. There you go. Put, put that there. Thank you. Is that the right way? Yeah, it is. We just need steel plates for this. Let's grab some steel plates and, in, and interior plates. There's steel plates. We can't grab these. Uh, oh, right. That's why. Oops. Steel plate and interior plate. Awesome. Okay, we're going to need a piston on this, a piston on this, a piston on that, and a piston on that. I don't... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's good. Uh, next, we're going to need a welder on each of these. And the welders we have facing up, right? Yeah, okay. So a welder on you, a welder on you, one on you, and then one more on you. Awesome. The uh, nanites should build this stuff. Hopefully, uh, we're getting uranium into our... Uh, power thing. Let's go and check. Because that would be a bummer if that was not happening. We are not. Do we have more uranium? Yeah, we do. Izzy! Why? Why are you not... Well, the uranium's going somewhere. I just saw that one go somewhere. Oh! Okay, it just got... Okay. Yeah, it just got shuffled into that. Okay. Good. Good work. All right, let's let them build this stuff right here. We're going to go in here and we're going to set the, uh, the the buttons again. Oops, we need more we need more buttons here. Buttons. And where are we putting those? Beep, 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 beep. Right about there. There we go. I still don't really know the uh, controls very well. Uh, let's go to this one since this one's built and we're going to go ahead and set the uh, the buttons again. So we need pistons. Uh, we want the ones that are not yet claimed. So 10, or 9 is going to be 1. Piston 1R. We're going to have piston 2R. Piston 3R. And finally, piston 4R. And then if we rename, if, we're, if we research this, it should, they should be all together. Well... Oh, if I had set it to R1, R2, R3 instead of... Then then they would be all together. But instead, they're uh, kind of not together, which is fine. I might change that eventually, but I think it's going to be fine. Uh, we're going to... Oops. No. Toggle back on. We're going to grab this. Copy that. Uh, then we're going to grab all these. And we're going to paste this and rename this to right. Now we have all of them. Awesome. Let's go back into here. We're going to set button number one to... Uh, we're going to call this... Uh, Extend. Extend left. And number two is going to be called uh, Retract. Left. Awesome. Finally, we need to set up the actions. So let's go, go to our groups. We're going to grab Welder Pistons left. One's going to be Extend. So increase... or ex We don't want to extend it all the way. Increase maximum distance. How do we... 
Hmm, how are we going to do this? Let me think for a second. All right, here we go. I think I figured it out. It's a bit of a complicated setup, but let me walk you through it real quick. So unfortunately, there's no way for me to just tell the piston to go out a little bit and then stop and go out a little bit and then stop and go out a little bit and then stop. And then uh, if it went too far, come back a little bit and then stop. It, 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 it's a very complicated thing to do, but there's kind of a workaround. So what we've done here is we've got extend left. So this is this makes these extend. We've got retract left, which makes it re uh, retract. We've got uh, increase distance left and then decrease its distance left. So what we've got to do is we've got to set the distance to zero by reducing it all the way until the distance is zero. And I, I should really have some sort of like indicator uh, monitor showing what the distance is set to. So uh, we, we want to decrease the distance all the way. Then we hit extend. It's not going to go anywhere. Then whenever we want to extend it, we've got to use increase distance left. And as we hit this, it'll start going farther and farther until we have it the uh, the distance that we want. Now, if we go too far, things get a little bit more complicated. What we have to do is we have to decrease, but it's not going to decrease there. We have to first retract it and then extend it again. So uh, so that if, if you really mess up, what you want to do is just uh, reset it just by hitting that and then retracting all the way and doing it again over and over. And in fact, I should really have this, I should have this button panel like facing this way, really. That would probably be the better uh, the better idea here, but I think it's going to be fine. Okay, so this one we have the same exact setup. The extend is on this side, and the uh, the retract is on this side. Typically for smaller things, probably what we're going to do is we're going to have this one all the way extended, and this one is going to be the one that, that has a variable extend. Um, and then for larger things, which is why I extended this whole thing in the first place, because now it can support larger projects, even though our rover probably would have a little bit of trouble. Uh, but for larger things, we, we, would, we would change that. Uh, I should really have a button that turns this thing on, shouldn't I? probably unless we want those to automatically be on uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll have another button switch that'll turn every piston or every welder rather uh, on and off now while they're on it's dangerous because uh, because we could die from like going into it so yeah all right well let's finish this up I think this is pretty much ready to go so let's decrease uh, let's uh, let's break it off right there and we'll hop in and see how it drives uh, it, it seems to drive pretty well. Well, sort of. I mean, it's a little bit fast. We probably want it to be a little slower, but, uh, but, but yeah, we can do some tweaking here real quick. Let's go to the, uh, wheel suspensions. <coughs> and we want to, uh, what we want to do is want to decrease the power here. I don't know what the, what the difference is between strength and power. Uh, and then friction, we probably want to increase a little bit. Speed limit, we're going to set to, uh, well, we want to go rather slow. I think 20 is is probably uh, too much, but I think it's going to be fine. Okay, so... Yeah, now it goes a bit slower. That's pretty good. Well, actually, 20, 20 is in insanely fast. Let's let's change that real quick so that it's a little bit slower uh, once again. So, speed limit we want to set to probably... Honestly, probably 6 or so. Which set it to like 1.8. That's that's kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, okay, well let's try this thing out. We're gonna we're gonna get one of our missiles and try it out on this thing. I really don't like all this debris here, so I want to get rid of it. But I don't really know what to do with it. I guess you know we could just stick it inside one of those welders. I thought the nanites would come through and clean this up, but I guess not. I don't know. I don't know what they're up to uh, these days. What the nanites have been doing? Probably fixing things or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, have all my stuff. I don't want all this. There we go. Okay, so let's get a missile in here. Uh, so we're first going to go... Well, actually, you know what? We need to set up a button real quick. So let's set this button right here. Uh, this is going to be the on-off switch. And we're going to have this one uh, right here. How about that? Yeah, right there. The nanites should come through and fix that. Uh, we're also going to want... Well, we don't need a button on this one, actually. What we need to do is we need to go into K. We need to grab our... Or we need to go into... Yeah, K. Grab our projector. And we need to uh, actually set it to something. So, blueprints. We're going to want our... Let's get Big Red. Let's make Big Red in here. No, that'd be crazy. Uh, we want to grab a missile. So, I don't know which missile we're using. This missile was the one that we had last time. So, let's grab missile. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Let's... Um, we're going to want to turn it real quick. So... Uh, it's such a pain to do this, by the way, because it's the projector. Well, actually, you know what? Here's what we can do. Let's, uh, let's set the projector settings down here. So projector, I'm going to grab you. Number one is going to, uh, what do we want to do? 
increase horizontal. No, we probably want to. Number one's going to turn it. Decrease roll. What is all this? Increase pitch. Vertical offset, horizontal offset. Well, we could have one for everything, I guess. So we'll start with the uh, the the uh, forward offset. So we're gonna have increase, and then we're going to have decrease for our uh, forward offset. So if you press that, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Uh, next, we're going to have another setting. So we're gonna have probably the uh, the horizontal. I think would be the best one. Increase horizontal, and then we're going to have decrease horizontal. So if I press three and four, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, next, we're going to have the vertical. Increase vertical and decrease vertical. So that'll set this. So we have the uh, the pitch, which I'm not too good with flight terms, so I don't know what pitch versus yaw is, uh, and roll. I guess roll is like the do a barrel roll kind of thing. But we'll add all of them in here. Increase roll, decrease roll. Okay, so we have the pitch. And I think that's, no, that's that's the way we want it, right? That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. There we go. So to make this realistic, we have kind of a uh, kind of a, a support system here because it does need to be supported. Otherwise, it won't actually build. Uh, so we have our little support system here um, and that should hold it up. And then we'll delete this once we want to actually move it. Uh, so what we want to do now is we want to set this so we can turn these on. First, let's get the correct distance. So this needs to come in a little bit. Let's increase this. Probably two. Are you looking good? Probably in a little bit more even. All right, you're looking good, looking better. You still have quite a bit of distance you can go. Let's give you a little bit more. And that's probably pretty good. Uh, if it's too much, we'll back it up and do it again. Next, for this, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to turn this on, which is going to be crazy. Uh, so let's set up the actions here. We're going to set it up so that group uh, toggle on. Well, we're just going to have one for on-off, I think. It's going to be fine. Uh, and we don't want this action here. There we go. So toggle on. Are you guys on now? Yes, you are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through under here, because if I don't, I'll probably die. Uh, and let's see if this works. So we're going to have to back this up a little bit and put it into position. But I think we have plenty of room back here that we can... Oh, shoot. That would be the, uh, the gyroscopes kicking in there. All right, let's drive this right through here. Okay, yeah, that's working pretty well. That is working pretty well. We got the top ones working too, which is pretty nice. Wow, this is working better than I thought it would. I'm holding alt, by the way, so that if I move my mouse, it doesn't completely, like, move the ship. But we'll let these complete. Oh god, it's technically attached, so uh, as, I, as I go forward, I'm actually moving forward the, uh, the thruster as well. I think almost everything is done. Yeah, everything should... Well, okay, found some other stuff. Can you imagine if I had, like, a whole wall of these things and I could just, like, drive through, like, and continue driving, and by the time I get to the other side, everything is done? I think that's everything. I think it got everything. Let, let me, real quick, inch to the side so that if it had anything else that it needs to get, it'll get them. Oh, we're inside one right now. Oh, it found something. Probably something I just damaged, if I had to guess. Yep. <sighs> All right, we should be good. Let's uh, jump out of this thing. And we want to turn these off so that we don't die, because that is insta-death right there if I go through it. Uh, this should be built. Well, it actually missed a couple things, it looks like. One of these. Which, uh, yeah, that's sad. But, And it, it couldn't get... What was that? It couldn't get that either. Let's uh, Let's turn these back on and go back through it and see if it can get them. Oh, it's going to be harder to go through backwards, though, than it was to go through forward. Although the gyroscopes will help. Okay, it welded that. I don't know why it's not welding the bomb. Is it afraid? Let me, uh, let me, let me, uh, run the bomb through, like, one of these things. The bomb is right behind the, uh, the, whatever that thing's called. 
The warhead requires explosives. That's the thing we don't have. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So it unfortunately could not make the explosives, but as a proof of concept, it actually works pretty well. Uh, and I think if we had larger ships that we wanted to build as well, and we actually made more wheels on this thing so it could support more, uh, then yeah, I think this would definitely be a great, uh, a great way to sort of mass produce things. And as we go up as well, because I do plan on, on kind of increasing the size of this thing a little bit, as we go up to make this able to uh, support bigger ships, I do want to also kind of move this bar right here somewhere else. So maybe it'll come around the back or something like that, um, just as a way of kind of uh, getting it out of the way or something like that. Um, but yeah, this works pretty pretty dang well, I gotta say. It it made this really fast. Do you guys remember how long it took me to actually like make this, even though it's such a small ship? Now imagine if I decided, you know what? I want another miner, or I want another welder, or something like that. Or I want another bubby mobile, even. I could throw that on. L let me see, actually. Let me try that um, with the bubby mobile and see if that works. Now, first, I've got to break these off. Because these were the support beams. There we go. Oops. Oopsies. Got to remember to be very careful with this thing. Uh, especially since it's got uh, a warhead in it. But can I move it? Ugh. No, I don't think I can. Well, you know what? Here's, we're we're going to do it anyway. We're going we're gonna to make the Bubby Mobile on top of it. And we're going to see if it works. This will be the final test uh, of this thing. And if, if this works, it's amazing. If it doesn't work, it's still pretty awesome. But it, it, it's not as awesome. But uh, I think it's going to work. So, projector. What we want to do is we want to grab the next blueprint, which is going to be... Uh, we have to go and blueprint the Bubby Mobile, actually. Uh, yep, that's looking good. We need to turn it forward now. Oh, shoot. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's good. Next, we need to inc or decrease the uh, offset here. Go down! Okay, and then forward. Alright, and then finally... Yeah, forward a little more, I think. Then maybe up. Nope, that's not up. Uh, yeah, I think up would be, yeah. Okay, so are you looking good? Oh, back up a little bit. No, we need to be uh, offset a little bit horizontally. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Next, we need to uh, we need to go out here and we need to add some sort of uh, some sort of block to hold it up while we're while we're over here. So we can throw one right in the middle, I think. Number five. We'll just go straight up here. There we go, that should hold it up. And next we need to uh, get these welders sorted. Now, I don't know if the welders are gonna be able to weld everything inside here, I really hope they are, but that's why this is the ultimate test, because this one was kind of small, uh, so there's only one block that wasn't directly touching the welders, but this one, on the other hand, is a bit bigger. So let's go over here and we'll decrease the uh, welders here. Let's retract. We're gonna reset this to its, uh, its regular area. Oops, then we're gonna extend and Let's get this out a little bit. Okay, is that good enough for the Bubby Mobile? I think that might be good, honestly. Because it's got the wheels, too, that it's got to get. I think that might be good. Okay, let's hop in here. We're going to reset this a little bit before we turn this on so that we don't have any physical uh, physical objects quite yet. All right. And that should be good. All right, let's hop out. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Welders are on, and let's see if we can hop into the cockpit without getting ourselves killed. Alright, here we go. Well. Uh. I mean. Oh, you know what? It can only weld the first... The, the block that... The, the first block that it can weld is only the one that's touching the, uh the thing so yeah it needs to start with this block there we go now it's getting it now, of course it's not gonna be able to place the wheels because it yeah oh shoot we're, we're kind of attached to something here hey it actually got one of the wheels that's pretty good It's getting most of it, which is pretty awesome. Let's see if we can get some of the front.
All right, I think this is probably the best that it's going to do. It's pretty good, uh, I, I've got to say. It, it missed something. I don't know what it missed. Oh, it missed the gyro. Oh, can I can I get it to get the gyro somehow? I think we're kind of pushing its its uh, capabilities here. But let's see. Part of me wants to destroy that wheel. Okay. Okay. Whoa there. Whoa there. Uh, maybe it was a bad idea. Yeah, you know what? We'll we'll probably get we'll get the gyro by hand. No worries. Let's back up over here, back to our starting area. We'll stop this thing, and we gotta hop out here without getting killed, which is going to be not a problem. All right, let's retract everything, just so we have some room to to uh, to mess around. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Retract right there. We go. Finally, let's uh, let's let's free this thing and see how she works. Um, Without any manipulation by me, just just from the uh, the welders over there. Let's see how she works. Okay. Uh, right. So I forgot to add the wheels. Well, without any manipulation by me, let's see how she works. No fuel. Without any manipulation except for adding a fuel. Let's see how she works. Awesome. It's powered, and without any manipulation but from me, it doesn't work. Probably because the wheels are not existing. Uh, which definitely is a problem. Let's hop in this real quick and see if we can see if we can move it a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's given us the room to add those wheels. So let's go ahead and add some wheels to this thing. So we need some W H E E L S. Looking for the five by fives, I believe. Not 100% sure, but I think these are the ones they use. Uh, what does this need? Steel plates. Steel plates. There we go. I just grabbed 900 steel plates for some reason. But uh, anyway, let's attach. How do I attach you to that? I might need to replace this altogether. I don't know how the suspension works, but I, th I think it needs to attach the wheel automatically. Otherwise, it can't place properly. Uh, so let's add a couple of these back. All right, Bubby Mobile 2.0 is as good as I'm going to get it. It doesn't have the gyroscopes, unfortunately, but it does have power and three wheels. Unfortunately, I was having a pain, a lot of trouble trying to get this fourth wheel in, and I don't really know how to get it unless I attach like a thruster here, override it, and then throw it on quickly. But but Space Engineer's wheels are kind of a pain to put on uh, once the thing is detached because wheel can't be placed uh, simply because it's too close to the ground. So the only way I could do it is if I jacked it up, and I don't know if there's really a way to do that without adding like a jacking station or something with like pistons or something like that. So I don't know, uh, but this is the Bubble Mobile 2.0. It's the same exact thing, only worse. So that one's still better. But uh, but this one was made entirely using the welder factory and a little bit of, of Andrew uh, building over there. But anyways, this is our little welder factory. What do you think of it? What do you think we could add to improve it, especially? Uh, because you saw it was having a little bit of trouble building this and there were some parts that it didn't even, uh, it didn't even add. Like I think some stuff over here, it didn't even, uh, place and the the gyros as well and the wheels. So uh, what do you think we could add to this thing to make it better? Um, anyways, if you guys like the video, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section, and I'll see you guys in episode number next because I don't know what the number number is of this one. I forgot. So I'll see you in episode number next. Bye.